<laughs> We're curious. Let us know in the comments section. So final nerd news story of the day, Mandalorian Season 3. We officially have a release date oh. for Season 3 of Mandalorian, and we're going to talk, A, about the release date, and also kind of our predictions mm -hmm. on what to expect uh, in Season 3 of Mandalorian. Well, I take a sip of my drink, Shauna. Season 2 <laughs> hasn't been living up to your expectations. Oh, I'm enjoying Season 2 better than Season 1 at this point. Yeah. I will admit that the first few episodes, I was like, okay, come on, what are we doing here? Because they were just very one-off storylines. They didn't loop anything back in like we were hoping right away. Didn't even get Baby Yoda in the first episode, <laughs> right? right? <laughs> so, but man, the last three episodes have been amazing. They've been absolutely so, spectacular. By far the best episodes for me. Have been the last three. Yeah. Which was the Ahsoka Tano episode, yep. the uh, Boba Fett episode, yes. and then the one that happened this week, yes. which was the... Uh, Bringing More back Boba Fett. Mayfield. Oh yeah, <laughs> that was so good. So, I know. I mean, <laughs> season two, season two definitely uh, doubled down on the monsters and yeah. the fight scenes and the baby Yoda eating things he shouldn't be eating at moments. <laughs> um, you know, it was just more of everything we love uh, yeah. here in season two, while also giving us some Star Wars firsts, including the appearance of Bo Katan, uh, the live action of Ahsoka Tano, Boba Fett, both masked and unmasked. And we saw Mando unmasked last night. He was pretty much... Oh, holy crap. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Sorry. Moving right along. <laughs> oh, who hasn't watched it yet? <laughs> I think you get a 24-hour grace period, and then, then all spoilers are off, because we got another episode next week coming out. So exactly. Should, fans should be allowed to, to talk spoilers. By so. Sunday, it's been out for 48 hours, I think. Holy gonna... crap. Mando <laughs> took off his helmet, and Bill Burr saw him, and everybody saw him. Oh, my God. That was so good. Yeah. Um, so season two basically continued the story, uh, the series storyline of Mando, uh, uniting with allies of his to try to be the best father figure he can to the most old and powerful little baby in fiction. <laughs> uh, Mando's quest uh, in season two, I mean, it evolved from rescuing Grogu mm -hmm. to escorting him to a Jedi for training and then once more to having to rescue Grogu again. He's doing a lot of Grogu rescuing right? in this series. So what now, Shauna? What now happens? I mean, Mandalorian star Giancarlo Esposito, mm -hmm. uh, he already hinted in an interview way back that the series plans to keep flying for at least another two seasons. Yeah. Um, you know, I told you we were going to announce the release date. Let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> this week, we got the announcement that the release date for season three is Christmas Day 2021. I'll take it. So they're going to be releasing on Christmas Day, which interestingly is a Saturday this uh -oh. year. And the show typically drops on Fridays. I wonder if Saturday is going to be their new release day. Or if they're just doing a Christmas Day just yeah. for the premiere of the first episode. Shoot, why not just do it Friday, Christmas Eve of 2021? I mean, Friday, that Christmas Eve, that's a great time to sit down I and agree. watch some. Like, why didn't they everybody just do that? Everybody can stay home right before Santa comes down the yeah. chimney. And, like, everybody gets to watch Mandalorian. Right. And the next morning, they get to open up all their Baby Yoda toys. Right. Which you know are going to be everything that's, that's under just, the tree. Why did they do that? I don't I know. I don't know. Very, very well, interesting. So who do we think is <laughs> going to be in the cast? Let's talk a little bit about what we might see in Season 3. Yeah. It's time for some fan speculation. Uh-oh. Um, so far, the only confirmed names for Season 3 are Pedro Pascal. He's okay. the only one who officially we know is going to be in Season 3. But okay. uh, just as Season 2 reintroduced characters like mm -hmm. Cara Dune and Grief Karga, uh, we're likely to see more than just a few returning characters, sure. I'm sure, including most likely Moff Gideon. That seems like a no-brainer. Right. But will we see Boba Fett in Season 3? Will we see Ahsoka returning in Season 3? Oh, I hope so. I don't think Boba Fett's come making it out of the next season alone. I don't think Boba Fett I think is, but I think Ahsoka. I, just, I, I don't think we're going to see Ahsoka again this season. Yeah. I think we very well could see her next season. I think Boba Fett's going to die in about six days from now. <laughs> I think they're going to kill Boba Fett, man. I don't think he's making again? it out of Season 2 alive. <laughs> Back to the Sarlacc pit with you, Boba. Um, Dwayne Johnson has expressed interest in appearing on oh, season three. Oh, that'd be awesome. Are you kidding me? That would be awesome. I don't know who he would play, but I just it doesn't uh, matter. It's a new universe. I would think he'd play, play a good anything. guy, but I'd kind of like to see him play a bad guy. Yeah, it's been a long time. I don't time. think anybody would buy that. I don't think... I mean, everybody's expressed interest. All he said is he expressed interest. It didn't say that D Disney's courting him or anything. Yeah, but if Dwayne The Rock Johnson expressed interest in something, you follow Dwayne the Rock Johnson. You let lead. him have a part. <laughs> Just let him direct an episode. I think he was the highest paid actor this year. That doesn't I think surprise I me heard one that. bit. <laughs> I mean there was only four movies, so That's true. <laughs> That's a good point. Um, so let's talk about like basic plot details. Let's fan theorize a little bit on some plot details for season three. Um, I think it's highly likely it's gonna continue Mando's mission towards settling the child. Mm -hmm. Grogu 
with Grogu. the Jedi. <laughs> I don't think he's going to get him to a Jedi in the, tomorrow night's finale no, or next week's finale. Just re- retrieved him yet? <laughs> I think I think this, the finale is going to be retrieving him, or maybe he doesn't even retrieve him. I mean, that'd be even cooler. Um, so while I think it's going to be the whole season, him still trying to get him to a Jedi mm. for his final training, while also of course battling the escalating military force of yeah. Moff Gideon. Um, so what else could we see? <laughs> is there a chance that uh, we might see the first rumorings of the rise of the First Order? Yeah. I mean, is there even any likelihood that we might see the the, the, the origins of Supreme Leader Snoke? Or Thrawn? Or... I think we're definitely going to see Thrawn. Yeah, but we're definitely for season three. I don't think we're going to see him tomorrow. No. I'm so... just talking about speculating on season three. And is it Ezra? I think his name is. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, because that's who Ahsoka is looking for. Unless they bring that to Save the Ahsoka show. Save him for the show. Ahsoka show. Hmm, yeah, I, I think know. that's highly yeah. possible. Um, they could theoretically use this opportunity <laughs> to retcon the shit over at the Rise of Skywalker. And uh, ah. maybe Snoke wasn't some clone that freaking the yeah, Emperor right? made. Maybe they <laughs> retcon it and show you how oh my gosh. Emperor had a, had a child. And there's mm. shit. They could they could expand the universe. I don't think they will, but it's highly possible. The you timeline, the time period is just right. If could you just imagine if yeah. they announced that the emperor is going to just make his way? Because you know, Giancarlo Esposito, Grand Moff Gideon is all. He is just a freaking empire fan. Yeah. What if he somehow finds the emperor? I doubt that's going to happen. <laughs> um, but he would like it. He would very much like to sit around and have tea with the emperor. I'm sure. <laughs> Uh, Luke Skywalker, always a possibility. Yeah, yeah. We could see Luke Skywalker. We've uh, the time all period the works perfectly. Sebastian Stan, like, fan casting. Thanks, Boss Logic. I don't think <laughs> in this show you don't recast him because Mark Hamill's still kicking. Mark Hamill can still play a young looking him. No way. So, absolutely. Why not? With the, like, video mapping or something? This is uh, the de aging technology. <laughs> That's I mean, true. we basically saw in flashbacks in the, uh, the new films mm. him flashing back to when he was trying to train. That's true. I mean, you're right. You're right. You, we can do and a we young. Saw young Kurt, uh, or what's his face, and Guardians too, and yeah, it's expensive. Yeah, but you're saving all that money when you're shooting in the uh, Kurt Russell stagecraft <laughs> technology. Yeah, use it true. on Luke Skywalker. It's possibility we'll see yeah. Luke Skywalker just because the timing of it kind of works out. It's post Return of the Jedi. Mm-hmm. It's pre uh, Force Awakens. He could pull so off many the perfect thing, and I don't think he recasts Luke Skywalker. Ever, in my okay. opinion. I don't think you ever fucking... <laughs> Mark Hamill is Luke Skywalker forever. Unless you do some crazy Alderaan movie, yeah. you know, like go way back. Okay, all right. That's cool. So I don't know, guys. What do you think? <laughs> Season three, Mandalorian, what do you think are some of the definites? What do you think are some of the just crazy-ass concepts? What do you think about them launching on Christmas Day in 2021? Yeah. Uh, send up in the comment section. Shauna, that's all we got. Oh my gosh, that, that's all. That was what a, a week! Lot. It was it a, was lot a long digest. show, man. And I still think there's some other things out there that we missed. What do you got? But, what do you got? Oh no, I'm just. I don't, I don't know. We'll move on. <laughs> we'll save it for another show. Um, so, guys, thanks a lot for watching this. If you're watching it on Chuck Little Comics, or if you're watching it on the Mainframe Comic Con YouTube channel, take a second, click the subscribe button, tell your friends, share it around on social media, say, "Look at these idiots! They don't know shit about shit." <laughs> you gotta watch these dumbasses. So, until next time. Have a fantastic week, guys. We will see you here next Sunday. Bye-bye.